are now tuned in to nyynews.com official podcast. Oh, yeah! Ladies and fans, I guarantee you this podcast will be number one as soon as Google approves my AdSense on this channel, which has taken about six months already. But luckily for you guys, this channel is already top quality. So imagine when I start making money, actual money, from driving in traffic to YouTube. Isn't that How me? everything is about to change. Isn't that hey, I'm me? not trying to sound like a greedy bastard. I own the official site. When I start making AdSense money on this channel, I will invest in it. Obviously, I am doing all these YouTube videos for free. So just imagine when Google stops being lazy and actually approves my channel. Wow, great things are going to happen for you guys. Great things are going to happen for the New York Yankees fans. Great things. I'm going to expand, hire supermodels. I'm going to hire the best dimes ever. Isn't that neat? You're going to be like, wow, did you hire that female from Fiverr.com because she looks so professional? Are you paying her $5 per video? Felix, don't lie to me. No, I know what it takes to be number one. Oh, yeah! Expect that. I will go out there and recruit loyal, real Yankees fans that are just beautiful. Okay? Because, you know, we're, we are the most beautiful fan base out there, Yankees fans. So, Yankees fans, let's talk about Robinson Cano. Let's talk about... Did Brian Cashman dodge another A-Rod situation where he signs a big name for all these years, for all that money, just to get slapped in the face, just to hear that news and that comes out and says Robertson Cano was caught on PDs while he was a New York Yankee? I think Brian Cashman and the New York Yankees suspected for a long time that Cano was on performance enhancing drugs. Let's not sugarcoat it, folks. He was literally being compared to Rob Carew. Stop it. All of his career. Stop he, it. Really, when you think about it, this guy was hitting about 15 to 20 home runs a year, and then suddenly he starts hitting over 35 home runs. Stop it. So when we look back at it and really stop living in denial, th these comparisons to Rob Carew, a uh, player like Cano coming out of nowhere, being a Hall of Famer caliber player, I mean, it all makes sense now Isn't that how mean? he was getting helped by performance-enhancing drugs. And you guys can't tell me, nobody in the world can tell me that he wasn't on PEDs because he was taking a masker to hide his PED use. Isn't that So mean? obviously, I could tell you from just my opinion what players are on PEDs. I think Miguel Cabrera is obviously on some sort of PED. Obviously, looking at his body frame coming up as a lean... Uh, player a lean kid obviously gaining weight gaining muscle comparing him is like comparing Barry Bonds to when he was lean and fit to when Barry Bonds took PDs I mean obviously Miguel Cabrera came out to defend Cano and you guys know I'm Latino so I'm not being biased here I'm gonna lay out facts I think Miguel Cabrera is a PED user currently if you want to talk about current players so whatever, what I mentioned in my previous video, if you saw the video I made about Robinson Cano, I said, hey, it's a game of cat and mouse. It's a game of where, hey, this guy masked his PD use better than I did, so I guess he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. That's the situation that we are seeing in baseball and probably um, sports in general. Obviously, if you ask me, basketball is riddled with PD use, and obviously football is as well. But we haven't heard the stories come out of those leagues compared to baseball. I guess baseball had the wrong end of the stick because we all know how it started in the first place with Jose Canseco. Jose Canseco, who has been banned from baseball, who is considered a snitch, but really did he do anything wrong? Because all these players that are being exposed or already millionaires. Cano has millions of dollars. Do you really feel sorry for Robinson Cano? I don't I know I don't because this guy's a millionaire, right? I'm not trying to sound like a hater. I know we live in a capitalist society and it's normal. But um when you're making millions of dollars and you're cheating, I mean, really am I gonna feel sorry for you? Even if 
it's a false allegation, I'm still not going to feel sorry for him for the simple fact that he is a millionaire. He has millions of dollars. So how can I feel sorry for that guy? Not a bash him. He was a great Yankee, but if he's a cheater, he's a cheater, right? So the Milkman, Chirelli, A-Rod, etc., all these players that were friends with Robertson Cano on the same team were caught on PEDs. So let's, like, the people still in denial, I mean, really, you just got to see the evidence. Obviously, the Yankees knew. And obviously, you're not going to hear them say they knew because it's illegal for them to hide if they knew or not. So, so the way the Yankees let others know that they knew was not to re-sign them, give them a lousy contract, offer him literally the off-market contract that they knew he wasn't going to take. So that's how you know the Yankees knew. People were scratching their heads saying, how the hell, why would you let Cano go? And now look, these this Ellsbury contract, it looks ridiculous. You signed Ellsbury over Cano. Obviously, Ellsbury's contract was ridiculous, but people were scratching their heads saying, why would you not sign Cano? Now we know. He was a PED user and the Yankees knew. And really, folks, when you think about it, like I said, you can't really, really feel sorry for Cano. Obviously, he lives in a beautiful country. He is going to see a doctor. Obviously, he got surgery for that injury. After that, he's just going to chill out in DR with millions of dollars. So do you really feel sorry for him? I know I don't. So, I mean, people that are using PEDs with intentions of receiving millions of dollars, I really can't feel sorry for them. I mean, they got their money already, so period. They're living a better life than all of us, right? So it's hard to defend Cano. And like I said, it sounds messed up, even if he was in innocent. I'm not going to feel sorry for a guy making millions of dollars. I know I sound like a communist, but if you know my political ideology, I'm far from one. The only positive that's going to come out of this, to be honest with you guys, is people on probation. They have to take piss tests. Now they know what supposed drug to take to flush their system out. So the only positive, I'm not defending criminals, that comes out of this is that other people are now knowledgeable on how to flush their system out of whatever substance they take. So cue that song real quick. <laughs> Robinson Cano. Robinson Cano. So Yankees fans, me and the Samuel Source, when he actually comes back to NYC because he is in Virginia right now, I'm sorry for doxing the source. Stop. We will set up gatherings for Yankees fans. We'll chill. We'll hit up a bar. We'll make a little party, man. If you guys like to uh, drink or whatever, we will set up events like that to talk about the Yankees. It doesn't matter if you're fat. It doesn't matter if you're going bald. It doesn't matter if you're 40, 50, 60, whatever. Oh, we yeah. will hang out with you and have a great time talking about the Yankees. Isn't that neat? Who knows? We'll probably get video footage. We'll probably feature you on this YouTube channel. I'm telling you, this channel is just going to explode. This channel is just going to get invested in. People that are commenting now, keep commenting. Because down the line... We will remember you and we will carry you with us. We will shout you out. We will make you famous. Start your own blog. Start your own channels. We will plug you. So, Yankees fans, Brian Cashman dodges another Alex Rodriguez situation. Obviously, I think he knew it was coming. He avoided it like the ninja Brian Cashman is. And let's just hope none of these other players are on performance enhancing drugs because we'll hate to see that. It's just a black eye for Major League Baseball. But let's just quit it. Let's stop it. Stop. Other sports have this problem even worse than Major League Baseball, if you ask for my opinion. Woo! It's always Major League Baseball. Oh, this player's on, on that, this and that. And other pl players in other sports get a free pass. Stop. Hey, I could name a whole bunch of superstars in the NBA right now that I suspect of being PED users. So, isn't that mean? Basketball doesn't get messed with like that. If you ask me, it's a more of a racial thing. Let's not sugarcoat it. I'm not racist or anything, but I'm just sp spitting off facts. They won't come after the NBA or the NFL due to the fact that if they did, they'll just look racist. Isn't that so mean? I guess they're picking on Major League Baseball. Just my opinion. This is why this is a podcast. 
And if you don't like my opinion, then so be it. We live in the United States of America. You have an opinion also under your free speech to disagree with me. This is why, in my opinion, Roger Goodell of the NFL didn't make a big deal out of that Colin Kaepernick thing. Because if he did, it would look racist. Isn't that neat? This society is very political correct or whatever incorrect. If you ask me, it's a whole bunch of hot air. I see people as people. If you were, you were born in America, you are American. I don't see skin color. Just as if you were born in Brazil, black, white, whatever, you are Brazilian. This is why I like sports. Sports shouldn't be political at all. It should be a platform where all races come together, talk about the same thing. All political ideologies come together, root for the same thing. That's why I like sports. It brings people together, and especially why I like baseball, because it is a family sport where dad and son grow up playing catch together. So it's really one of those sports that brings the family together. So, this has been the NYY News Podcast with your host, Felix from NYYNews.com. Like always, I will check you out for the next one.